Hey guys, today we'll be going over another anime that finished airing this last winter, Somali and the Forest Spirit. I haven't heard much from the other content creators about this show, and from what I've seen, it looked like a nice, wholesome anime to break things up from my usual binges. So I'll be going over its story, characters, music, animation, and general fun factor to see why you need to watch Somali and the Forest Spirit. Story the world of Somali and the Forest Spirit takes place in a fantasy world filled with many unique intelligent species but also a world where humans are persecuted. In a forest we meet a golem who happens upon a human child who calls him dad, thus starting a journey of both golem and Somali, the human child, as they search for a human settlement in the hopes of giving her a safe place to be raised before he reaches the end of his life. This is a wholesome, father-daughter tale as they journey across a vast, fantastical world filled with wonders and dangers, meeting many interesting groups of people as they travel. Now this show is a collection of tales between Somali and her adoptive father as they explore the world and interact with many different peoples with their own ambitions and families. In a way, the world around them is what raises Somali as well as help develop Golem's parenting skills as they have to balance their travels, odd jobs, relationships they form along the way, and protecting Somali's identity as a human from the general populace. You'll meet many great characters whose backstories and encounters will help grow the bond between daughter and father. And that is really it. There is a whole world with history and culture that varies between the regions they visit, but that isn't the true draw of the show. The real draw is the relationship of Golem and Somali as they steadily form a strong bond along their travels. It's a slice of life adventure drama that will fill your heart with both wonder and wholesomeness. This show has a few different ways that attacks and melts your heart. First, it follows the day-to-day -day life and the struggles that follow of a parent and their child. Next, it will introduce characters whose own relationships and experiences help grow our protagonists. And lastly, you'll be shown a wonderful, rich world of fantastical towns and environments that beg to be explored. The only spot of potential disturbance I can see is the world building of the show. It's going to be a bit spoilery, so if you want to avoid such details, here is a timestamp of the next section. Now with that out of the way, the way they build the history of the world and why it's against humans seems a bit extreme to me. In essence, humans are a weak and cowardly race who views most of the other races as grotesque and often attack them on sight even when they obviously are trying to help. This sparks a war that nearly sent them to extinction as well as helped cultivate the tradition of raiding human settlements, massacring them and either selling them as slaves or eating them. In a way, starting a cycle of hate and violence. Now there's a lot to say about how prejudice on both sides can cause chaos and one side to crumble, but I feel like we haven't gotten a good enough explanation of how things have ended up like they did. It would have made more sense why humans do the things they do after the war, but before the war we haven't gotten a good explanation from the other side. As they say, history is written by the victors, and I don't know if that is something we will get in a future season or volumes. But the world in which Golem and Somali live and travel have nearly forgotten the war and humans along with it. Besides Besides the few that are old enough to remember or those that have encountered humans before, the world is ripe for perhaps a future reintroduction, as Somali simply accepts the world and its people as individuals with all the childhood innocence that comes with, well, being a child who interacts with these sorts of people. Betrayal of human aggression is perhaps the only problem that the show has with its world building though, and doesn't detract from the gripping father-daughter centered story that it excels at. Characters. This is a wholesome story that plays off multiple dynamics as we explore the vast world of Somali and the Forest Spirit. Golem, being basically a magical robot, is near emotionless and thinks analytically. This plays off a Somali, a bundle of sweetness, who often lets curiosity get the better of her. As both an adoptive father and someone who only has about a year and a half to live, Golem assumes the role of protective parent and the guardian of Somali. This is accentuated when given the context of Somali being a human in a world that is adversarial to the now rare race. Besides those two, there is an ever-rotating cast of travel companions and friends that they make on their journey. For example, Shizuno and Yabashira are a pair of dwarf onis that work as herbalists that help teach goal in medicine, or Kikilia and Kokilia, the father-son duo who runs a restaurant and becomes close friends to Somali and her dad. There are many characters that come in and help out our protagonists, while also spurring events that help deepen the familiar bond between Golem and Somali. Each character that is introduced have their own goals and ambitions and help flesh out the fantastic world of Somali and the Forest Spirit. As Golem
Golem and Somali stop at various places to do odd jobs or information collecting, you'll get pulled into the side characters' own backstories and dramas that they deal with just as much as you will with the main duo. That might be one of the biggest boons that this show has, is it will expertly make you care deeply about whatever side character is introduced and about the troubles or bonds that they have. They also help to make the world that Somali and Golem travel to feel a bit more lived in as they share their experiences and culture with them. At this show's core, it's about the slice of life moments that appear when raising a family. Sometimes you'll have high highs and sometimes you'll have low lows. And this brilliant heartstring performance is mainly carried by the main cast of characters. Somali is a sweet cinnamon bun that you'll never want to see her and provides us a way of looking at the current world as wonderful and full of great people. Golem is the strict parent that eventually learns to trust his child and the friendly people around him, as well as learning to care when once he felt nothing but duty before. The characters support the show immensely. Music. Let's rip the band-aid off real fast. The full OP is vastly different than the TV version, and frankly, I've never been more confused listening to a song than I have listening to the full version of Arigato wa Kochi no Kotoba by Natori Moriyama. It starts out nice, almost like an old 60s Christmas song, with nice swelling strings and a singer that kind of sounds like the Japanese version of Frank Sinatra. Then midway through the song, you're introduced to weird midi electronic drums and noise that just doesn't fit the tone set at the beginning at all. The ending track Kokoro Somali by Inari Minasi saves it though as it's just a relaxing melodic track with lovely piano and rising strings. And I won't lie, they are able to use this song to great emotional effect. It's just a great capstone sort of song able to pull out your deep emotions. But in reality, it isn't the ending track that holds the show up. It's the mother flipping background tracks. These are the kinds of tracks you put on to either unwind or help you through tough emotions. These are some of the most beautiful piano tracks I have heard in a long time, and I almost guarantee that they will elicit some kind of emotional response from you. Some of the background tracks are founded on the somber piano that is able to underline the more emotional scenes with expertly crafted softness. When piano isn't the focus, it's usually an equally somber acoustic guitar or bells that give a nice texture to the overall sound. Overall, I'd say that while the OP isn't very good, the ending and the background tracks are going to be played whenever I start to have difficult emotions. Hell, as I'm writing this, listening to these tracks, I still get a little teary-eyed. Animation. Holy hell, the art in this show is fucking beautiful. Why are people not watching this show? God damn it, you people. I'm being serious here. The artwork in this show is the reason why you need to watch it. Every single scene is worthy of being turned into a poster or a painting to be hung up on my wall. The towns, the forests, the caves, the deserts, every single environment is fantastic to look at. The details, even in the room of an inn, is amazing. Some of the more creative and fleshed out fantasy art styles I have ever witnessed. Forests filled with glowing berries, alien boulders, brilliant wildlife, bubbly brooks, fantastic trees grand deserts filled with fitting but colorful cacti. The architecture of the towns are unique in every area based on geography and culture. I cannot praise it more highly. Mwah, you can't see my face, but mwah, you see, you hear that? Mwah, that is a chef's kiss right there. Mwah. When it comes to actual movie bits though, that's a bit of a different story. High action scenes are few and far between, so you're not going to see much great articulation. However, there was never a part where it could be considered bad. Functional is perhaps a good way to describe it, above average maybe. Sometimes when Golem has to fight something, the animation quality will spike, but overall, there isn't much beauty in the movements of our characters. Top notch art, average articulation. But that doesn't take away much for the show, as it's more about the exploration of the world and its characters than it is about showing you an amazing battle sequence. Fun Factor This is a show that I don't always go about seeing. I'm the type of guy that loves shonen, psychological thrillers, and the occasional comedy. I haven't seen many shows like Somali and the Forest Spirit, those sorts of purely wholesome and exploratory types of shows. But that doesn't mean I couldn't appreciate what was offered to me through this show. I was offered a chance to take things slowly and watch as a true familiar bond is formed between two people of different species. I was able to watch something that really, really made me invested in the happiness of the fictional characters I was watching in my screen. I was invested in these characters the whole way through. 
And you know what? The world of Somali in the Forest Spirit is a lot darker than it likes to lead on. It tackles a lot of hard, emotionally weighted questions as you travel with these various characters that frankly, I wasn't prepared for. At the start, you're going to witness the question of, can I last long enough to finish our journey? What does it mean to be a father? What are you willing to do to have those closest to you survive? I was blindsided by some of the questions the show not only was setting up, but letting the characters organically come to terms with. Did I cry? Yes. Yes I did. I bawled my eyes out like a man during the last episode. I'm not going to lie, I was invested the whole way through, through every adversary, every character growth, every new discovery. This is 12 episodes of pure emotion and childlike discovery that I am 100% glad I took the time to watch. It was a great break from the usual for me, and one that I might keep an eye out for in the future. This is the type of shit that just hits you hard enough to leave an impression that will last. Conclusions Somali in the Forest Spirit is a show that will take you through some of the most beautiful scenery I have seen in anime. It will drag your emotions through a whirlwind of happiness and joy to deep sadness and care. The characters are absolutely lovely, the music underlines almost perfectly. This is perhaps the biggest sleeper hit out of the winter 2020 season. I rate Somali in the Forest Spirit a 9 out of 10 and I urge you all to watch something this profoundly beautiful. This show needs more attention. For other recommendations, if you wish to see a more character driven, slow burn type of show, perhaps Violet Evergarden will suit your tastes. If you were infatuated with the lush world and exploratory nature of Somali, but perhaps you would like something a bit darker in tone, then maybe Made in Abyss will be a great fit for you. With that being said, I'm Zio and I make weekly anime reviews. If you want to share your thoughts about Somali and the Forest Spirit, please write a comment down below. If you like this video, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content just like this one. I'll catch you in the next review.